In this fourth episode, I'm mocked by the videographer and my wife. Sit back a little bit. I, think, I don't think that matters. I think... It does. It does, Chris. <laughs> Linda won't share her candy with me. I just said, can I have a peanut M&M? And she said, no. But literally on the package, it says share size. And we talk about our work with married couples. Just sharing and breathing encouragement. Really, after all this time together, we still do love being with each other. Guys, you are though smoking. You're smoking hot today. You're looking real good. We are Chris and Linda Padgett. We may be flawed and a bit crazy, but we're living the greatest adventure. From high school sweethearts to parents of nine children, following our dreams led us here to a nine-sided house in central New York. In our little paradise, we have connected with the simpler life of family, faith, and very naughty farm animals. We're taking this once abused and neglected piece of land and making it into our, our happy, happy place. place. Sit back a little bit. Am I maybe am I forward? I think I'm a little forward to you. Oh, I think I don't think that matters. I think it does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like really my my kibbles and bits are shoved. One time we were on an airplane and she bought the family, the share size, family size uh, M&M's. It was a big... It was not Listen. the family size. It was freaking huge. It was, no, it was this And big. I asked her for like a peanut M&M. Like, uh, peanut m and I didn't say, pour a handful out for me, baby. I just said, can I have a peanut m and And she said, no. But literally on the package, it says, like, share size. We just left the store. If you wanted m ms you could have bought m ms I didn't know I wanted them until you had them. That's the problem. Why buy a share size if you're not going to share? Guys, you are, though, smoking. You're smoking hot today. You're looking real good. <laughs> so we had a great night last night. Today we have a very busy day. We're getting ready to make our way down to uh, Christ the King Retreat Center in Syracuse where uh, Linda and I will be doing the pre-Cana talks today, so it's a whole uh, day of just sharing and hopefully breathing encouragement into the lives of these couples getting ready to enter into a sacramental matrimony. I need a little coffee and then we are off and underway, so it's going to be a good day. Okay, we got to go. Are you seriously wearing that? I try to usually wear a jacket and a tie for my regular attire when I do talks. And I get my ties at thrift stores uh, because they're cheap. And I think this has got a lion on it, that, but it really could be a unicorn if you see the tiny little horn there. Are you uh, King Arthur? <laughs> this is like, like this royal lion. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. feeling super royal. It matches the plaid shirt really well. <laughs> Literally, Linda's word this morning was, your tie is atrocious. That's how I know I'm crushing it when it comes to my outfit. Atrocious, I take to mean, wow, amazing. Your collection of ties is is uh, epic. Beautiful. Epic. Epic is a good word. I'll take mm -hmm. epic. Mm -hmm. Epic in a good way, right? Epic, I suppose you can say that. I'll let you say that. <laughs> All right, let's get it. As a family, we have been living on ministry for almost 25 years. And living on ministry is is not a lucrative experience. Right, we'll right. I mean, there were years that we had, there were times that we had people leaving groceries on our door, yep. or uh, we thought we would lose our house, but we didn't. The only reason I think that the ministry that I've done has been successful is because Linda has been 100% in when it comes to that ministry. It's not just my ministry, it's our ministry. And two, 
uh, the way that she thinks about things and processes things, it makes what I do a hundred times better. So if I'm writing, if, if she doesn't look at that, it's a catastrophe. It's so hard though. It's so hard sometimes to let you do what you do best on this because writing, I feel like if I wrote it, it should be perfect. But she looks at it and she's like, I think, you know, you can do a lot better on that. And so the brutal honesty, it's so awesome. And the, um, the, the way that she draws out of me a clarity. There's Chris standing in line wearing a, a mustard yellow polyester old man leisure suit with the vest. <laughs> this was not, that was not in style. It was yes, it was. Not in style. <laughs> I asked her if I could give her a kiss goodnight. And so, I kissed her <laughs> on the <laughs> it was amazing. You know what? I was a trumpet player. My lips were powerful. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. What really happened? <laughs> I do have to correct his stories quite often. And so delighted to have the Pagets offering our marriage preparation classes for the last couple of years for our diocese. Chris and Linda are just genuine, they're real, they're engaging, you know, so they really offer the young people, instead of some stuffy, very formalized, you know, talking about the sacramentality of marriage, which they do, they offer it in a way that's real and, and just engaging and fun to listen to. So it really draws our couples in, our engaged couples in. It helps them reflect with one another too about some of the things, their first um, things that, you know, that they'll go through in their marriages, forgiveness, just really beautiful ways to connect with one another and how to live out the sacrament. So they've been a great addition to our program. I love how much they laugh with each other. You can see why their marriage has been so successful because they're just constantly making one another laugh. It definitely makes it easier to be introduced to this kind of stuff with the humor. And it's not only about Chris and Linda's stories, though that's certainly a central piece to it. It's about all of our, our human call to want to bring God into our lives. You know, for, our, for God to fill those places in our hearts and then to connect them in our marriages and bring God into the marriage. And Chris and Linda are great at that. If we were divided at all in the ministry that we do, then it would be a catastrophe. Our marriage could easily have ended, you know, forever ago. But what's so beautiful about being in a relationship with someone for so long is you know each other. And because you know each other so well, you get to be entirely yourself. And it's such a place of trust and safety. And so what I've always loved about Linda is she's very much willing to allow me to be entirely me. You can see that they've clearly been guided by something here. They're very good at what they're doing, for sure. And they're inspiring. You know, you want to be like them. So I have a lot of different kind of guitars, but basically I've been using this one a lot lately because it's a breed love, but mostly I play Martin. I have a lot of pretty cool Martins. I'm working on this little song. It's like just a little prayer thing that I'm doing a lot. So come away. To this quiet place, I'll steal the day and I'll look at you and you, you, you can look at me, it will be alright. And come away, oh, come away to this quiet place, I'll steal the day. And I'll look at you, and you, you, you can look at me, it will be alright, alright. Mm. Mm. Just the idea of just being with Jesus, like what does that mean, to just be with Jesus? And I have this feeling that, like, my doing needs to flow from my being with Him. Does that make sense? I think in the end, like, I just wanna, I wanna love people just the way they are. 
and let Jesus love me more. I think that's that's probably what my calling is. Let him love me, and then I can love others even more. Next time on the Happy Place Homestead Show. Linda and I talk about our kids. So we have nine children. At least the ones we can remember. Mary, Mary is, is 15. 15. And uh, right? yeah. Jude is... Mary 16. With five girls and four boys, we realized we're going to be pretty old when they all leave. Who's going to teach her to drive? Because mom and dad will be too old to, which we will be. That's so sad. Yeah, it is sad. <laughs>